Okay. Uh, today we are gonna talk about a doctor which is quite famous in the USA and uh, his name is um, Gart Fisher. He's MD. He's in Beverly Hills. Um, um, we will check the criteria that it is announced by Global Organization and Authority Medical One that um, based on that you can find and you can do your own research that he is uh, qualified and reliable to go and give your body uh, for a plastic surgery or not I mean allow him to do the plastic surgery on your body uh, there are, um, the, f- um, the criteria is um, that I choose it firstly comes from this one International Society of Aesthetic Plastic Surgery it gives you guideline um, how to choose your doctor, the training, the certifications. Uh, is it, I mean, the doctor is recognized by, they're recognized by national and international plastic surgery societies uh, and uh, language and uh, the doctor speaks and after sales care. And we are going to talk how we can find this in his, his website. The same thing is announced by the UK Parliament report you can find it online uh, you on page uh, 15 the criteria is almost the same and I'm going to talk about this doctor and this criteria uh, why this doctor firstly is in famous because if you come to the page here is that as the Kardashian plastic surgeon Dr. Gart Fisher has earned the trust of the family so he is famous because he has done some uh, plastic surgery on Kardashian family and the plastic surgery that he did actually is explained here uh, you can read about this so this is the reason that he is famous because Kardashian can announce that who has done the plastic surgery but about the um, medical criteria that I talk about let's go and check whether he is certified by global medical organization or not actually this this um, logo that you can see here and you cannot click opera CNN access conditions these things they are just uh, media they are not global medical organization by global medical organization we means for example like this something ESAPS or American Global Organization for Plastic Surgery these things if he is part of them he should put his logo there like many other doctors who put their logo here for example if you check here um, let's say Dr. Mufid which I found on the net uh, you can simply see that he put his uh, membership logo here facial plastic surgery or the other one because if you are the member of them they will give you uh, the logo as a membership and you are allowed to put it on your website so this doctor firstly is not member of any global medical organization it should be a reason uh, you should ask him I'm not the person who wants to do the plastic surgery we should ask him why and he should be satisfied with the reason but if he is the member he will put the logo here none of the global organization uh, unfortunately there are so many for example like this one facial plastic surgery and there are so many British one and global one as well so this is the first one that you should take care about uh second one is about the reviews which gives you some hint about the after sales care of this doctor whether when you do the surgery the people are uh if you have a problem of you have complaint he how he is going to solve it whether he is responsible or not this is yelp if you put it on the name of this doctor on yelp you will you can see the reviews and you can read the good and the bad one actually the UK uh, the doctor in the US mainly has 
review on Yelp and the doctor in the UK has review on Trustpilot. Trustpilot is more easy to work with and Trustpilot is more uh, reliable in terms of finding the suspicious reviews. So if you want to read about this doctor just come here go through the page and you can see many bad reviews. This one is so elaborated. Uh, I'm writing this review as a cautionary note to women that elect to undergo augmentation with a doctor who feels that he decides what is appreciated in his eyes. A few years ago I decided that it was time to change my saline implants to silicone. So you can see so many things and there are pictures of this thing. The other one this is a warning about the individual narcissistic I'm not going to read all uh, because there are complaints so there are problems here uh, but the thing is none of them the issue is none of them is answered and responded by a doctor so this is the issue that if you have later problem and you write it here uh, he's not going to take care but there are other doctors and surgeons who care about this and they have after sales department even uh, that care about the complaints mm, for example he's here it's complaining about $500 for consultation which is he says too much but th the problem is there is no uh, response from the doctor but if later you have problem how is going to respond to you uh, you can see there are so many bad reviews and there is no response from him but you should do your own research before you take any steps to do the surgery and the other thing is that uh, which is really insisted on by this uh, medical report and advice by the UK Parliament is that the uh, doctor should uh, announce the previous infection rate or the fatal rate that has been uh, occurred to the other patient and you can ask from the doctor there how many other patient how many percent actually will end up with a, I mean ended up a, with bad result and he should respond if it should be a negotiation point for you you can start from this point if he's not honest with you then maybe there's problem then you should take further steps and talk with many people who have done surgery here because um, there are I mean the doctor has the number of uh, patients which didn't result as well as it was expected so this take care about this one fatal ratio infection rate of previous one and talk it with this doctor before uh, getting any decision coming to any decision to decide him as your doctor so the three main point is good about the bad reviews good reviews bad reviews read about them sorry read about the reviews and see what was the previous problem what was the good thing about him yeah, make sure that he, he is the member of global medical authority which is not in the shown in the website and the most probably he's not a member of that and also ask about the infection rate of previous doctors a uh, previous patient sorry so i think it's enough you can with these things you can start your research and uh, choose your medical doctor for this surgery 